bonjour. Aujourd'hui, nous parlons d'encore plus de verbes pronominaux. Um, we are going to learn some additional pronominal verbs, verbs that have the little pronoun. The ones that we learned so far were verbs like se brosser les dents, se laver, se lever, se réveiller. These were verbs that had to do with getting yourself ready in the morning. And I just wanted to introduce you to a few more verbs that also use pronouns that are not really related to your daily routine, but you might use them to talk about things in your day. So um, there are lots of these in French. I've just picked a few uh, that have to do with um, things you might say frequently. S'amuser. S'amuser. S'amuser is our verb in French that means to have fun. So um, you can't say... Uh, I have, and then look up the word for fun in French and and say I have fun that way. You have to say je m'amuse, I have fun, or elle s'amuse, she has fun that way with this verb. S'asseoir, s'asseoir, I put this one in here, it's kind of random, but I put this one here because thinking about travel, maybe you're going to be traveling on the metro, the subway in Paris, and you have a seat um, sit down and, um, or someone might ask you, would you like to sit down and offer up their seat? So you need to know this verb. Se dépêcher, se dépêcher, again, thinking about our travel, you might have to hurry to get to your plane on time. Se détendre, se détendre is to relax. Se détendre. S'ennuyer. S'ennuyer is to be bored. So we have s'amuser to have fun, s'ennuyer to be bored. S'entendre, s'entendre. This verb means to get along. So, um, you know, maybe if you're going on a trip with your best friend because you get along well. Um, this brother and sister doesn't look like they're getting along super well right now. Se fâcher, se fâcher is to get angry or to get mad. S'inquiéter, s'inquiéter is to worry. Se perdre, se perdre, again, um, in the context of trips, this might be something that comes up. To get lost, we saw the adjective perdu, je suis perdu, I think we saw with our directions, but this is the verb to get lost. Se promener, se promener. We already know um, faire une promenade, I think, um, for taking a walk. This is another way that we can talk about taking a walk. Se reposer, se reposer is to rest. So you have the verb rester that you learned. Um, and remember, that's a false cognate. It means to stay. So se reposer is how you would say rest. Se réunir. Se réunir is to get together. So, um, les femmes se réunissent au café. The, the ladies get together at the café. So, if you wanted to talk about getting together with your friends, whether it's at your house or at a restaurant or at the park or anything like that, you could use this verb. All right, that's it for now. So, um, let me know if you have any questions about these verbs. Have a great day.